When we talk about representation in the local, I, I have to say that representation was done the same way we did it in 1934. In the past, you would come, you'd fill out your complaint, and you would probably wait two, three, maybe 30 days before anyone would even get back to you. The members was feeling like, oh my God, it takes so long. You know, it takes so long. And sometimes they think, do the union really work? How can we put in the right systems that will get us going into the 21st century? Thank you for calling Member Resource Center. I mean, we're either going to live by innovating as a union or we're going to die because we're dealing with the old problems. So we want to find the most efficient uh, and most effective way to represent our members and so the Member Resource Center, that idea was born. Forget about what we have now. Think about what we would do if we were starting from scratch. The union was set up to deal with the industry in 1934 and the truth is nothing much had changed in the union since 1934. And then all of it changed. The companies changed, the industry changed, the owners changed. Everything has become globalized, diversified. And when you look at our structure, it's completely the way it was. So we said to ourselves, how should we change to match what's happened in the industry? If we're going to really be able to raise standards for our members, for service workers and working families all over, we need to, uh, to become stronger institutions. And we really got to a place where we understood that we were spending a significant amount of our resources on the grievance process to the detriment of being able to grow, put the type of resources we need into, um, into organizing, and to building uh, internal strength and political strength in the union. When I first heard about the Grievance Center and what it would supposedly entail, I was a little skeptical. The biggest resistance we got uh, was from the reps. And if you think about it, you can understand why, because we were really asking the reps to completely turn around how they did things. The members were used to seeing the rep to handle day-to-day -day situations as well as resolve their issues at work. To separate that by creating a field rep versus a grievance rep, I thought it would take away from uh, what the members like to see, which is a person that represents the union. The call center is very crucial and very important uh, for our members. You can call any time during the day or during the night. And you are sure that someone will call you in that 24 hours and you're going to speak with live person. They can choose language that they prefer. It's great now because we can focus on one particular uh, aspect of our job. I can focus strictly on the grievances. And when you're comfortable knowing what's expected from you, it helps you deliver a better product to the members. So now we have a whole new system. Uh, if a member in any building in any area of the city needs help, they call into a central call center. If they really have a problem, they go over to the Grievance Center. Just tell me some more about the problems. I'm being helped. I, could, I have somewhere to go and get answers. The goal of this new organization was not just to set up a concentrated Grievance Center, but was also to free time up and staff uh, energy to go into a field and develop a whole industry strategy for our two primary industries, commercial buildings and for residential. The commercial office staff feels that for the first time they can really dedicate themselves to the commercial members in a way that what we build in the contract campaign becomes a foundation for the day-to-day -day work that follows. Before we couldn't do that. It's always good to see field reps in your building uh, it's good to let them know that they are working for you and with you. Now the time is consumed by talking about the union, how we're moving forward, how we continue to grow, how uh, politics helps us to grow, and how our members have to be engaged in the union in a greater way. This was one of the highest turnouts of any of the rallies and the support that we've got throughout the city ever. Everybody is involved. There was nobody working inside the building. Everybody was, when we wanted in street, was outside in street. The owners were out there. They saw us. They saw we were serious. They've never seen those results before. And everyone came out. The activism was wonderful. And it sent a message. We're still strong and we're here to stay. I have about 226 high-rises that I cover, uh, 1,200 members.
I represent engineers, assistant engineers, maintenance guys, janitors, and doormen uh, throughout this area. Uh, we're going to be going to one of my buildings in the uh, Gold Coast, and I want to give uh, my guys a, the residential newsletter and then uh, sign on to my East Lake uh, petition. Uh, East Lake, okay? East Lake, we're, we're doing very well. We're signing up a bunch of guys, and folks are definitely interested in uh, joining with the union. So what we're going to do is later on this month, we're going to do a big delegation to East Lake's corporate headquarters. Okay, you guys down with that? Yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah. They really wanted to free up their reps from doing grievances to be able to go out into the buildings and really start to build the union. With this new change, we were able to develop members, create brigades, send them down there to Houston, and let them organize. I went into Houston as a brigader to work with this campaign so that janitors would get uh, benefits, health care, uh, decent wage for what they're working for. And they now have a union which is unheard of, unheard of in Houston. And one great satisfaction is that people still call me now and say, Carlos, guess what? And I said, what? I am, I'm enjoying my first week of vacation that I've never had, and I've been working for 15 years. Thank you for calling Member Resource Center. This is Karen Jenkins. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, sir. This is the right place. Okay, is this concerning an um, uh, issue on the job, ma'am? Well, you will be assigned an advocate, and the advocate will continue to help you do the um, grievance process. Oh, uh, thank you for calling us, okay? What we're attempting here in California is on a huge scale. You know, we started off with 500 contracts, 235,000 members, and a dream, which is let's have one place where everyone will know what is going on with our members, and so that we could actually look at that information and be really strategic about where the union needs to go in terms of representation and organizing. So right now we're um, 8 to 4. Very soon we'll be going 7 to 7, and then we'll be trying to add on the weekends. Ideally, staff and resource permitting, we want to go 24 hours. We want to handle the representation part of our union work in a different way that allows us time to be more creative, uh, to partner with our employers in ways uh, to bring about innovation and quality to public service. That's incredibly important or we will be dinosaurs. Um, eventually there will be about 30 resource organizers who will be sitting here in this room. There's four different teams that will be serving four different locals. 1021, 521, 721, and 221. So from Northern California down to the Mexican border. I think one of the big pluses of the Member Resource Center is the sophistication of the technology, specifically the database. The moment we need any answers and statistics and data, strategy making kind of information, uh, we're gonna be able to come here because we have that database centralized for us. The Member Resource Center can be used to outreach, whether it's telling our members about a rally, whether it's encouraging them to join COPE, uh, building our union, I think it can be used in proactive ways as well. If we're going to become this really, you know, kick but, you know, organizing union for the 21st century where we're going to live and not die because we're not innovating, we need to have your energy as a worksite organizer out there communicating that message and getting as many members as engaged as possible. No longer will we get those uh, complaints about, I give you monthly dues, why are you not picking up my phone call, right? Now they can say, they are picking up my phone call. I might just want to donate to the political fund. I might just participate and volunteer for the campaign that's coming up. I'm proud of the efforts that we've made so far, but we have a long way to go to really build an organizing culture in our union. And this, and this is really going to, I think, take us that last step. And so if this member resource center allows us to spend our resources improving members' lives on a larger scale, why wouldn't we do that?